Hello everyone. It's great to be back on YouTube. It's been a while. Before I show you my outfit today, it's going to be a quick video. I do want to talk to you about my last two videos, my How I Cope with Aging and my Hurricane Irma video. Your comments that you left on both of those videos were so appreciated and I'm so grateful to you all. You are so kind. Your comments on the health video, I think there are something like almost 1,500 comments at this point. It's been a month today, or at least this week, since I published that. There are something like over 230,000 views. There are so many thumbs up. You all left so many comments about your own journeys, your own struggles with aging, with health issues, and, and how you are hoping to, or you are, combating all of this and how you are healing. Many of you talked about issues you've had and how you overcame them by changing your diet also. If you haven't seen my video, what I talked about it in it was I, about seven years ago, I started seeing a lot of changes in my physical appearance. At that time, I was also getting very, very ill uh, with asthma and a variety of other chronic issues and I was so sick and so sad but especially physically sick that I had to make a big change and I changed my diet and what happened is I noticed I had changed the focus completely from worrying about what my outsides looked like to focusing on my health and what was going on inside of me physically mentally and spiritually so that's what I work on now is continually healing and being as healthy as possi possible, both mentally, physically, and spiritually. And if any of you are feeling alone and you're struggling with health issues or you're struggling with aging or fear of aging, there were women in their 20s who were talking about they were so afraid of getting old. They were feeling old and they were only 29 or they were only 25. I hope you'll have a chance to look at this video, and if you're not a video person, I understand that. You might want to look at the comments. There are so many beautiful comments, and I, there's something to be said about sharing our, our grief and our fear, especially when there is a message of hope to be had, a message of sharing healing. And I think we all connect at our broken parts and where that's where we have so much in common it's just a beautiful forum and i hope you'll have a chance to have a look people are still leaving comments i'm just so grateful to all of you i do read all the comments even though i don't i don't always i just can't get to all the comments to make a response but it's so appreciated and the Hurricane Irma video, you all left prayers and wishes for my safety, my family, my husband, my friends, the community for Naples and for Florida. And it was such a beautiful outpouring. Thank you. I, I so appreciate it. There was a lot of damage here. The local humane society had so much demand for space. There were so many animals that needed help that they took all the animals they currently had in their shelter, from what I understand, and moved them to San Diego so that they would have space uh, to take in all the animals that needed help and shelter from Hurricane Irma. The Naples Botanical Garden lost one third of their trees and plants. There were so many trees uprooted, and they're still uprooted. Um, you know, there's hope that they eventually will be put back. I know in our community, um, several big huge trees were uprooted and they did have to cut them all back and haul them away and that's such a sad thing to see but that is mother nature uh, mother nature is beautiful but also can be dangerous so thank you again for all of your good wishes this video is about my outfit I'm wearing to a, actually I'm going to a trunk show being put on by Talbots at Waterside Shops. They're gonna be showing their newest collection for fall and that is in a, about an hour. So I'm going to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing also 
powder foundation, powder blush, a lip pencil, and mascara. I want to show you the lip pencil because I don't think I've worn it on my videos or blog before. This is by Zuzu. It is the color Innocence, and it's a pretty pinky brown, very natural looking neutral color, I think. I think it looks a lot on my lips like it does on the uh, in the pencil. It's a very creamy texture, I will say, for a pencil, but I like to also add shea butter. This is the one I use. It's all organic. It's uh, Nourish Organic. It's 100% USDA certified shea butter. It's wonderful for making it a bit creamier, a bit more moisturizing. <clears throat> Everything I'm wearing, makeup, clothing, jewelry, accessories, I'll put on my blog. And li the link to my blog will say all item links here. You'll just click on that. Did I say I was going to put on my blog? What did I just say? Oh my gosh. I started thinking about how late it was and how I needed to go, so I forgot what I... If I said what I meant to say, what, what I meant to say is I will put the link to my blog down below here at YouTube and that will say all item links here. I'll also put that at the top of the comments section and I'll pin that comment to the top so you can see it. And If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them here at YouTube or my blog or Instagram or Facebook and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Okay, well, we'll do, I'll do one, two, three, and we can smile and then we're done. Okay, you want a big smile? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get closer to you. Yeah, there we go. Right, the sign. Okay, right. one, That's good. two, three.